Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your first time somebody, absolutely welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a few tips and tricks on how to look absolutely effortless and put together every single time, okay? So I'm going to start off obviously by apologizing officially for being away for three months. I don't necessarily need to say that because I've already addressed this on Instagram, but just in case you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely have no idea what I'm talking about. I have not posted in the past three months and I had a lot of reasons why. So bear with, I'm actually back now and I'm going to be putting out more fashion style content and also vlogs. You know my previous vlogs, I'm going to be doing something similar as well, but definitely keeping it more engaging. Before we move forward, today's video is brought to you by Farfetch and I'll be talking about them later on during the video. So definitely stay tuned while I give you the tips as I promised. Let's hop right into today's video without further ado. The first tip is keeping your wardrobe simple and minimal. You need to have a wardrobe where every piece works with majority of the pieces in your wardrobe already. So if you have a pair of pants and they don't work with anything else except one outfit and that's not really a good wardrobe, you need to make sure that when you're buying an item, it does work with at least, at least three outfits in your wardrobe. Except it's a dress, then that's different. Just wearing things that are solid colors helps you to keep your wardrobe very minimal. Keeping the patterns and all the riskiness away from your wardrobe is perfect. You can have one or two patterns, but definitely try to keep that on a low. With this, you will definitely be able to look very put together when you're outside, especially if you try to color block or if you try to mix and match pieces in your wardrobe. You're not looking like you're doing a lot. You wanna keep everything very simple, very classy, very minimal, very chic, you know what I mean? Okay. The second tip I have for you today is investing in quality, timeless accessories. Now, we all know you can have a wardrobe filled with the most beautiful outfits, but if you don't style them with the right accessories, you're as good as someone that just put together a random piece of clothing and just walks out looking like they don't know what they're doing. So you need to accessorize correctly. Now, when I accessorize, I love to accessorize with earrings, wristwatches, bangles, or necklaces, shoes, handbags, those really do lift up your outfit. So when I talk about quality accessories, I'm not necessarily talking about branded accessories, but you could go that direction if you have the money for that, or if you feel like you want to invest in something that expensive. And that's gonna bring us to today's sponsor, Farfetch. And I'm gonna be showing you a few pieces I've picked up from Farfetch. So Farfetch holds stock of so many boutique brands from all around the world, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. It's just like going into a mall and having brands from everywhere in the world. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously it's online, so that's what Farfetch is. This is the first one. I got this beautiful, beautiful wristwatch. I know I've heard Donatella say the actual name before, but I'm not trying to ruin the brand. <laughs> Farfetch carries it in so many other colors and styles and I just feel like that is absolutely amazing. It is 100% um, timeless, duh, it's a timepiece. <laughs> but yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't have anything like this. I love the green detail on the inside as well. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm definitely going to be working this with so many of my classy outfits, you know. When you try to look like <laughs> you have money. <laughs> I'm kidding. On to the second accessory from Farfetch. Please, can we give a round of applause for Jacquemus for creating such a stunning piece? Please tell me you don't love this absolutely stunning, gorgeous baby right here. This is so pretty. Every single item I'm showing you right now, I'm going to be linking down below for you to have access to it, okay? And one thing about Farfetch that's amazing is they restock quite often so if something goes out of stock best believe that's come back in stock very soon so definitely keep your eyes out on an item don't feel left out if you're not able to cop an item just because you feel like you can't get it in that moment doesn't mean you can't come back to the website and get it yet like i said this is timeless this is quality 
and it's gonna work with so many other outfits in my wardrobe and obviously because i have a very minimal wardrobe it just makes things so much easier so obviously tying in the first point and the second point together now for accessories again i do have a third accessory which is the last item i picked up on farfetch so this one is different it's very different but it's an accessory as well and i think every woman that is trying to be in her feminine era should have a pair of this is the packaging that farfetch items come in so like i said every woman needs a pair of heels and i did pick black ones because i feel like black is such a simple statement piece that could go with anything in my wardrobe what i'm wearing right now i could 100 percent wear with these shoes i'm not really one for branded items like in the front but i think these are so stunning i literally can't i love the detail in front they come in different sizes that's another great thing about farfetch as well they carry all these designer pieces in different sizes and they always restock best believe farfetch is going to restock it but if you like any of the pieces that i showed you today and you want to shop on farfetch or even you just want to shop in general on farfetch i have a discount code for you on the screen so if you want to shop their stuff go ahead and shop the stuff and get a discount why pay full price when you can get a discount and you can get your hands on your products for much cheaper than they would cost honestly when i was buying these i'd use a discount code too Thank you again, Farfetch, for partnering with me on this video. And yeah, let's hop right into the next three tips to help you look put together. Another style tip which I've adopted over the past few years that has made me look very put together and very effortless is keeping the colors in my outfit within one to three colors. Don't have more than three colors in your outfit. You could, this is not a very strong rule, but this is a rule that makes you look more put together now if you're working with different shades or different tones of the same color it's okay for you to have more than you know three tones you can even wear the most minimal pieces but if you have more than three colors in your outfit you start to look like a clown i have experienced this with myself because i've done a lot of styling videos and i have definitely styled, styled other people and i've seen difference when you actually have less than three colors in your outfit and when you have more than three colors in your outfit how you actually appear and how you look in the eyes of people so definitely keep your colors within the range of one to three now this tip is one that if you neglect no matter how friggin beautiful you look no matter how gorgeous your outfit is you will still not look put together and that is taking care of your nails your hair and your skin what am I talking about? If I came on this video without makeup, yeah, I could look good still without makeup. But if I came on here without doing my hair properly or without even attempting to do my nails, even if it's just painting them or just getting a manicure that makes it look clean. If I had my dirty nails on, no matter how good, no matter what my accessories were looking like, you would still think I was not put together. So having my hair packed back in a slick bun or even just straightening your hair or curling it, however the texture of your hair is, you can rock your hair anywhere or even wearing braids you can look absolutely stunning in any hairstyle as long as it is put together i'm not really a nail girl i just do stick-ons <laughs> when i can if you don't like getting your nails done you can definitely do manicures at home cut your nails clip them make them look leveled and look clean and crisp you can just put a little bit of gel on your nails just look put together for the skin skincare routines are very important but i also understand that so many women have breakouts you know don't feel comfortable wearing your normal skin and they want to wear makeup there's nothing wrong with makeup i don't like the idea of looking down on people that wear makeup every day or every other day i'm not really one to wear makeup every day i do wear makeup when i feel like shooting a video but when i'm going out i at least try to just add a little bit of bronzer on my skin without any other foundation no foundation nothing but just that little bit of bronzer on my skin and maybe doing my lips putting a little bit of lipstick on my lips just makes me look a little bit more put together than just walking outside without anything on my skin it's okay if you don't like makeup at all that's fine but in general this is just a tip it's just my opinion now this last tip is one that i see so many people not really doing properly and that is wearing what they like and feeling confident in it not just that also making sure that you are balancing your silhouette i'm gonna come down to balancing your silhouette but let me explain wearing what you like and feeling confident in it 
I could wear the best looking outfit, but if I'm not carrying my, myself well, I will still not look put together. Or when I, you know, walk into a room, I'm slouched with my shoulders down, I'm not really looking confident. Whatever I'm wearing is a waste because at the end of the day, I'm not confident in what I'm wearing. And if I'm not feeling confident in what I'm wearing, I won't come off as I know what I'm doing or I'm put together or I'm looking chic or I'm looking effortless. I will just look as bad as someone that didn't put any effort into the style in the first place. So it is one thing to wear an outfit that makes you look great is another thing to actually be and feel confident in that outfit. Now, when it comes talk about balancing your silhouette, I'm not going to touch too deep into this because this is going deeper into fashion styling, but women as a whole, we have different shapes. There's pear-shaped women, there's um, upside down triangles, there's different shapes. But knowing your own shape helps you figure out how to actually style yourself. When I wear outfits, I do wear things that work perfectly with my shape. If you, as a, as a person, you're an upside down triangle and you're trying to look more hourglass shaped you just need to know how to balance your style because i love bonus tips i'm definitely going to give you one bonus tip for today and that is smelling good so it's about perfumes here there's loads of perfumes on the market right now you just have to pick what perfumes you really do like and ones that make you feel really fluttery on the inside so if you're smelling yourself and you don't smell good then i don't think you're going to be confident when you go outside so if you feel like you smell amazing definitely will boost your confidence when you're outside so it's definitely a tip you have to have and it would be lovely for you to walk into your room and you're not just looking lovely but when people go home they remember you by your smell and they're like oh she smells so lovely Lovely. or they come to you they hug you they compliment your perfume and your style it's an extra tip it makes you feel more confident smelling good translates into looking good okay in the following videos i'm going to be touching more on these points on each point so you can learn one or two things don't forget to check out farfetch as you're shopping on the farfetch don't forget to use the discount code down below it's going to be in the description box it's going to be on the screen here because nobody's trying to pay full price out here the fact that you actually get discounts amazing if you liked the video if it helped you in some kind of way give it a thumbs up share it if you can and subscribe if you're willing and i'll definitely see you in my next video i love you guys so much bye